three, so there, Frick, it's cover him. Okay, that's fine. Links we're gonna, up. Guys, we're gonna starburst meet up at this sun site approximately. So let's uncloak in three, two, one. Go, guys, uncloak, uncloak, uncloak. Start killing tackle. Let's go. Crew are stamped. Executioner is rage burning for me. Kill the executioner, guys. Stiletto is burning for me. You're the executioner. Can you regroup a bit? Really Can you regroup off. a bit? Yeah, regroup on the sun guest side, guys. Regroup on the sun side. You need to get closer, Nixa. You were hit up for attention. Yep, I'm trying. Hey guys, it's Lord Carlos here. Today I want to show you a small video of our visit to test base in Wicked Creek. We had a mixed shield fleet and fought a Caracal gang, a Thorax gang and later on a larger Caracal gang. It was more of a one-sided engagement. We did, we did not lose any ships, so it might not be the most thrilling fight uh, you ever saw. I hope you will enjoy it anyway. Our gang consisted of Daimos, Ishtar, Zeolot, Curse, Scimitar, Charis, Purifier, Flycatcher, Heretic and two dual box Stilettos. The Curse in combination with the Zeolot is extremely effective against incoming tackle. The Zeolot can shoot from above 50 km and with up to 450 dps or 700 dps if they get close. And the curse can remove their capacitor within seconds from 38 kilometers away. That way they can't run any propulsion or tackle mods, thus are dead in the water. Even when the enemy tackle breaks through them, I can damp them down to under 10 km lock range with my carries, making it harder for them to tackle our ships. Our Daimos and Ishtar are our main damage dealers. The Ishtar fitting can put out up to 900 DPS. Flycatcher and Heretic don't only keep the enemy trapped, but they can also use the bubbles defensively. If the battlefield is spread out over 150 kilometers, our Dictos can place bubbles so the enemy can't warp directly on top of us. That can be useful for a kiting gang like ours. Also thanks to the light missiles, they can deal with enemy tackle. Purifier also does a decent DPS from a decent range. My job in the damp carries is normally key ships, like enemy e-war or logistics. I can also cycle my damps on DPS ships, they will have to relock. Knowing this situation for myself, losing lock can be stressful. Sometimes you forgot what the main target was and have to ask the FC again. This can lead to confusion in a less organized gang. Our stilettos were dual boxed, one of them by me. In the actual fight they were not often uh, used, but uh, we used them for scouting and initial tackle and uh, similar stuff. So every time in a not hectic situation we could use our stilettos and uh, when the fight started we just keep them, uh, we just let them burn in one direction and forget about them. In the first fight, we jumped into a test gate camp that also has a Caracal gang on it. We starburst and met up on the sun side. Everybody has to dodge tackle at this point. I damped the crew because it's bonus to web range. After that, there were not many damp targets left, so most of the time I put them on DPS or incoming tackle. Only a blackbird with a longer lock range than my carries made us some trouble. He was also smart enough to re-warp once I had damps on him.
Okay, I'm really buffs. lined on yeah. towards sun. Get them aligned towards. Oh, Lynx shit. running again. Tegeltina, get point on them, man. Saber I'm behind saber. them. Okay. Okay. Saber next Kill the time. saber. Kill the saber. Let's get below them so they if they wop in we'll be. Okay. Them. Okay. Uh, burn below. Burn below. Burn below. Burn downwards. Kill the fucking saber. Kill the saber, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Needs to die. Good. They're lining down. Right after we were done with them, we saw a shield Thorax gang coming for us. They had multiple size as Lodgy. My piloting in the beginning was bad. I did not keep transversal up and I only locked a single size. They also stick tight together, so my dams were not very effective. It might have been a good idea to switch to scan resolution dams. They walked sun. They, they all walked sun. Align sun, guys. Align sun. There's Align a bellicose and a zealot and shit. Shut up, shut up. Align sun. Align sun. I need ropes. Okay, we're gonna warp to the sun at 70. Let's warp to the sun at 70 now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Warp to the sun at 70 now, guys. Let's go. They warped to the sun at 50 kilometers, and we followed at 70. At this point, I dual boxed my interceptor. Once he got a point on the size and had a stable orbit, I switched back to my Keras. You can see how I first start to move when I'm in the middle of the enemy gang. I'm gonna burn Gator to her ping, so if you need to wop in and there's still bubbles, you can wop the Gator. Okay, lock up the Caracal. Raptor. Kill the Raptor, kill the Raptor, kill the Raptor. Oh, look, they're Bob. Okay, go for the Caracal of Soya. Go for the Caracal of Soya. Tackle's coming in. And Tackle's turning. I like how that Malixion did one second at once and then just wopped off like fuck this. After a couple of minutes, we saw that they were forming a new Caracal fleet. We waited for them on a gate so they had to jump into us. They also had 20 bombers on a Black Ops bridge. But the bomber died before he could open up the Sino. We assume he had too high speed to open up the Sino, or maybe he was just not quick enough with his micromanagement. Because they jumped in from a regional gate, they were spread out from each other. This allowed my dams to work for full effect. A single dam will reduce the Psi flock range to 27 kilometers. Two dams and it will be down to 12.
Oh, back down. They're off. Okay. All on 50. Okay, uh, kill, the, kill the caracal of Globsco. I'm just gonna need reps. Broadcast primary. Broadcast it. Kill the tackle. After they probed us, they warped on top of our flycatcher. Some of them burned fast towards us, while others stayed behind. This allowed us to pick them out one by one, while they could not receive reps. Shout out to test pilots with awesome names such as Point on Baron One Chicken Pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll point sexy Mac Crotch Grab Goochmeister. <laughs> Kill Dread, Kill Dread, Kill Dread, secondary is gonna be Nolan. This is my first video in 1440p, let me know how you like it. For any criticism feel free to leave a comment. Bye!